Hey guys, we're doing language class. Turn to page 155. Before we do anything in the book or read anything in the book, I kind of wanted to go over a couple ideas uh, and terms that I'm going to be using in this lesson. So I have hard and fast rules and I have rule of thumb. Now a hard and fast rule is something that's this is always the case, it's always going to happen no matter what. For example, like in math, a hard and fast rule is 2 plus 2 equals 4. That's a hard and fast rule. It's not going to change. Or in language class, a hard and fast rule is um, am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been, have, has, had, are always going to be verbs. Any of those words, they're always going to be verbs because they're on my helping verb list. So that's a hard and fast rule. It's always going to be the case. Um, but a rule of thumb means, well, usually this is the case with this, but it doesn't always happen in a specific way. For example, like in kindergarten, you learned that the letter A says A, ah, which is correct and it's true. But when you got into first and second grade, you learned that A could make other sounds as well. It can make that long A sound. It could make an aw sound if it's followed by a W. So that rule that you learned in kindergarten that A says ah was not necessarily wrong. It was just a rule of thumb. A says ah. But later you learn that there are other things that um, can not make it wrong, but can just change it depending on the circumstance of the letter and how it is in a word. So in this lesson, we're going to have a one that's more of a rule of thumb, but I just wanted to get a good understanding of what a rule of thumb was before we started. So we have, as you can see behind me, I have more or that ER ending and the most in that EST ending. So some words don't have that ER ending, like we have the word short, I have short, shorter, shortest, but I don't say more short or most short, and I don't say more shorter or most shortest, and that's what this says down here. Do not use that ER, EST ending with the more or most, so you don't say happy, more, happier, most happiest. You don't say that. You would say happy, happier, happiest. So that's, that is a hard and fast rule. You don't use both of them. You're going to either use one or you're going to use the other. Now, my rule of thumb is when do I use more or ER or when do I use most or that EST ending. So the words that I would use that more with are words that are just a little bit bigger. So for example, if I see um, if I see a uh, flower, would I say that flower is beautifuler than the other flower? Like if there were two flowers, I might I wouldn't say that flower is beautifuler than the other flower. I would say that flower is more beautiful than the other flower. Beautiful is a little bit of a bigger word. And something that I kind of want you to think about and count are the syllables. Beautiful, that's three syllables. So words that have two syllables, kind of sometimes it will have that ER ending and sometimes have that more instead of the ER ending. Words that are three syllables or more are almost always going to be using that more or most but sometimes maybe an ER, EST ending, but most of the time, more, most. I can't think of any examples where a three syllable word has an ER or EST ending. So most of the time you're gonna be using more or most with three or more syllables. And then with two syllables, it really just depends. Usually, most of the time is gonna have more and most, but there can be some exceptions in there. So we call that our rule of thumb with two or more syllables, we're going to be using more and most with that. But again, sometimes, like for example, we just had the word happy, happy, two syllables. We said happier and happiest. We don't say more happy and most happy. We say happier and happiest. So like that, for example, is two syllables, but we use the ER ending. But most of the time, 
two or more syllables is going to be using the word most. I really, really wanted to pound that in there because that's a really, uh, it, sometimes it can be really, really tricky and I don't want us to have any confusion with that. Um, if there is confusion and if you really don't know when to use the ER or more or when to use most or that EST ending, the dictionary is always going to have the answer to it. But of course, when we're doing tests and stuff, you can't look at that. So try to um, do it on your own using the ideas and rules that, uh, that I just mentioned. But at the end of the day, just in your everyday life, if you don't know, you can always look in the dictionary and it will have the answer for you. I wanted to go ahead and take a look at the book, page 155. We have, it says, use the word more before a long adjective when comparing two nouns. So right here it says compare two people or things. That's when we're using that more or that ER ending. Um, so more just kind of takes the place of that ER ending. And that's when we're comparing two people or things. So if we're only comparing the two things, more or ER ending. And it says before a long adjectives, again, longer words are going to have more syllables. That's why I kind of mentioned the syllable thing. Uh, and it says use the word most before a long adjective when comparing three or more nouns. And like I have written here, when we compare three or more people or things, we're using that most or that EST ending. So make sure you're keeping those things straight. And again, long adjectives, longer words, going to have more syllables. So again, with the rule of thumb that we have, with the whole uh, counting syllables, that might help you a little bit. Um, now, they also are having, uh, they also have written here that uh, some adjectives will change the word completely when they are comparing. So for example, I have the word good, but I don't say good, gooder, and goodest. I don't, I don't use those words. Those are not words that we use. I might say good, better, and best. See, those make sense. We use those. We don't say good, good, or goodest. We say good, better, best. And there's actually a little poem that I kind of know that goes with that that might help you if you can get that memorized. And it's really fun to say. It's good, better, best, never give it rest till your good is your better and your better is your best. So if you can get that memorized, it will really help you keep those straight. And it, um, really fun to say, I like it. And there's also another one. We have good, better, best. What's the opposite of good? The opposite of good is worse. <clears throat> What's the opposite of good? The opposite of good is bad. So they also do the same kind of thing with the word bad. We don't have bad, badder, and baddest. We don't say that. We have bad, worse, and worst. So bad, worse, and worst. Unfortunately, I don't have any kind of rhyme or poem for that. You're just going to have to remember that. So bad, worse, and worst. And it's bad, worse, W-O-R-S-E and worst, W-O-R-S-T. So make sure you keep those two straight. I know those two can be a little bit confusing if we're not careful. So we have good, better, best, and bad, worse, and worst. Let's take a look at letter, uh, let's take a look at think A. It says, underline the correct adjective in parentheses for each comparison. So number one says, at our piano recital, Emma was more nervous or nervouser than Ethan. Well, they're using either more or ER, and I can see that they're comparing two, well, I guess those are here, comparing two people or things, they're comparing Emma and Ethan. So they're using either more nervouser, or, no, we don't ever say more nervouser, I just accidentally read it like that. They're either saying more nervous or nervouser. Well, count the syllables, nervous. That's two syllables, and I said, usually, rule of thumb, if it has two syllables, we're going to be using that more or most. And in this case, that's and in, in, in this uh, example, that's the case. And we're going to use more nervous here. So go ahead and underline more nervous. Number two, dad said that last night's sunset was the most beautiful or the beautifulest one he had ever seen. 
So, we're comparing uh, the one that he saw last night with all the other ones he's seen before. And I think that he's seen more than three sunsets. So we're comparing three or more people or things. That's why we're using the most or that EST ending. So I have most beautiful or beautifulest. Well, let's count the words or count the syllables in the word beautiful. There's beautiful, three syllables. I'm going to use the word most there instead of that EST ending. So underline most beautiful. Number three and number four, I want you to do on your own. Pause the video, do those two, and we'll do them when we come back. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look at number three. Wow, this box is the most heavy or heaviest one we have moved so far. Well, let's count the syllables with heavy. There's two syllables, heavy. Now, in this case, and you might have noticed this if you look back on page 250, or 152, I'm sorry, on page 152, they have, uh, if you look at number three, the word yummy. Did we say more yummy and most yummy? No. If it ends with that Y, where we have to change the Y to an I and add E-R or E-S-T, most of the time, if it has that Y ending, we have to change the Y to an I, it's going to have that E-R-E-S-T ending. Maybe not every single time, but most of the time. And this is one of those cases. So we're going to say, wow, this box is the heaviest one we have moved so far. So underline the word heaviest there. Number four, Charles is more thoughtful or thoughtfuler than his brother. Well, let's count the words, or let's count the syllables, not words. Let's count the syllables in thoughtful. There's thoughtful. Two syllables, like we said, most of the time when there's two syllables, we're going to use that more or most. So we're going to do that here. So Charles is more thoughtful than his brother. Underline that as well. Let's look at think B. Circle the correct adjective in the box. Number one, we're just basically counting how many things we're comparing in these examples. So number one, if you compare your dog to three other dogs. So how many things are we comparing? We're comparing three or more things because there's my dog and then there's three other dogs. That's four dogs. So that's definitely three or more things. So I'm going to use either most or EST. So go ahead and circle the word next to that where it has most or EST. That's smart, smarter, or smartest. Right, you should have circled the word smartest. Let's go to number two. If you compare your cold to your brother's cold. So if you and your brother have a cold, how many people are we comparing there? Right, just two people. Just you and your brother. So I'm comparing two people or things. So I'm going to use either more or ER. So we would say badder, worse, or worser. Which of those do we use? Well, I know bad, and then I don't say badder. That's not a word. We don't use that word. So don't circle the word badder. I have the word worse or worser. Now, the word worse is already a word. I don't need to add an ER to the end of that, even though it says to add ER. This is just one of those cases where you have bad, worse, and worse. It's not bad, worser, or worse, or bad, more worse, or worse. No, just worse by itself. Just the word worse. So, you have, if you compare your cold to your brother's cold, worse your cold is worse, or maybe your brother's cold is worse, I'm not sure. So don't circle badder, don't circle worser, just worse. Number three, if you compare your handwriting this year to your handwriting last year, gooder, best, or better? Well, let's count how many things we're comparing. We're comparing your handwriting this year, that's one thing, to your handwriting last year. So that's only two things. So I'm comparing two people or things, so I'm going to use more or that ER ending. So I don't see the word more as an option here, so I'm going to use that ER ending. So I have gooder, best, or better. 
So this is one of those cases where it's not going to be necessarily an ER ending. It's just good, better, best. So I know that gooder is not a word. And better is comparing two things. And best is comparing three or more people or things. So in this case, I'm only comparing two things, your handwriting this year with your handwriting last year. So it's going to be better in this case. So number three, your handwriting this year to your handwriting last year, better. And I hope your handwriting is better than last year. It should be. Number four, a rose to a dandelion. Pretty, more pretty, or prettier. Uh, this is, again, one of those cases, I count two syllables in the word pretty, uh, but it does end with a Y. And if I was going to uh, put an ER at the end, I would change that Y to an I and add ER or EST. I'm comparing a rose to a dandelion, so I'm comparing two separate flowers. I'm only comparing two things, so I'm either going to use more or ER, and I'm going to use the word prettier here. That's the word I'm going to use, prettier. And number five, an orange, a lemon, and a lime. That's three things, three things. So I'm comparing three or more people or things. So I'm either going to use most or that EST ending. And I have an orange, a lemon, and a lime. I have most sweetest, sweeter, or sweetest. Three things are being compared, so I'm either going to use most or EST. I don't say most and that EST ending. So most sweetest do not have that circled. Sweeter, that's using that ER ending, comparing two things. I'm comparing three things, so I need to have that EST ending. So I will use the word sweetest. Make sure you have that circled. And then write C. I want you to do on your own, you're writing a declarative sentence. Make sure it is declarative. Make sure it is a sentence. Make sure it has a capital letter at the beginning. Make sure it has a period at the end because period goes at the end of a declarative sentence. And they want you to use the adjective smaller. And that means you need to compare two things in that sentence. So this is smaller than that. Whatever it is you're going to put in, in this or that, uh, you can but I uh, can't write this sentence for you. So make sure you do your best on this.